Hi, this is Peter, and today what I'd like to show you is how to access your OWA Exchange account using MobyMail. MobyMail is an email client uh, available on Google Play and Amazon App Store, and it allows you to access your Exchange accounts directly in a native email application. In order to do that, what MobyMail needs to do is to be able to access your account through an OWA portal, an Exchange Web Services portal actually, on your OWA website. So what you have to find out from your IT department, if you're not sure, you need to understand and know how you log in to your email account from a web browser. If you're a, an Office 365 business user, you would log in from outlook.office365.com. If you're a, an Exchange 2010 user, you may log in with a website that looks something like this. Uh, you may also have an Exchange 2013 account. It looks more like this. You might have an Exchange 2007 account, and it looks like this. All of these accounts are Exchange accounts. They're all Outlook Web Access, it was called before. It's now called Outlook Web App. But basically, those are OWA accounts. And what MobyMail does is it connects to your account through that website, through an Exchange Web Services portal. So when you install MobyMail, what you have to do is you have to select Exchange Web Services. So I'm going to show you how you would key in for Office uh, 365, how you key in the necessary information that MobyMail needs in order to connect to your account directly. So what I'm running here is a Nexus 4. I'm screencasting it for you so you can see what I'm, what I'm seeing on my Nexus 4 running Android 5.1. And Here's all the information that you have to key in. Everything that you key in on MobyMail is exactly the same thing that you key in on your web browser. Uh, but you just have to give it to us once, and then MobyMail will keep track of that and log into your account, download your emails and your calendar entries, and um, without having for you to, to, to re-enter that information time and time again. So you just have to enter any, any account name. It's not important what your account name is. That's, that's uh, your business, whatever you'd like to have it. But then the Outlook web, uh, the Outlook OWA website that you have to enter is the same website that you would enter here. The only thing is you only need to enter the primary uh, front part of that of that URL. So I don't need the slash, the OWA, the slash um, on a long one like this. I don't have to key in all of that information. I just need to key in up to the .com, .org, .ca, you know, whatever it is for you, for your particular website. So I'm going to show you that I would just key in here, um, outlook.office365.com. And then the domain and username, that could be confusing for some. Um, if you are logging into Office 365, you're going to key in your email address. Some of these websites, all you require is an email address. Whatever you key in, to your website when you're logging in from a web browser, that's what you need to key in here. The only thing that we ask is that you split it. In other words, if on your website you have to key in a domain and a username, take the domain without the slash and enter it in domain. Take the username without the front and forward slash and then enter it in here. So if you enter, but if you enter a username without a domain, such as this one here, you'd leave the domain blank and just enter that username. So whatever you key in on the website is what you need to key in here. So for example, if I'm logging in to the um, support account on Office 365, I would key in support at appstervan.com, hit OK, and I leave the domain blank because I don't need to have that domain. What I wanted to show you as well is that when you key in an email address here, it copies that email address into here. Um, if you're using one of these formats where you have to key in a domain and a username or a, just a username, you'll have to enter your, your email address. And then we'll use that email address to remove it from reply alls, to, to make sure that you can edit, and, uh, edit any of your calendar entries and that sort of thing. So I'm not going to go into uh, any more detail. I just wanted to give you that. Once you key in all that information, you hit test connection. MobyMail then downloads all of your um, email information. You'll download your calendar entries, your inbox, your tasks, to-do items. Um, but that's it. That's all I want to show you today. I hope that this information is helpful. 
and uh, get you connected quickly so that you can use a native email application on your phone rather than using a, a OWA on your web browser. Take care. Thanks.